playing chess in Paris. I can visit my best friend and I'm going to visit her on a bike. So here's the chef who serves the delicious food, uh, French gastronomic food with a small poetic touch with, um, of the Japanese cuisine. Uh, what can you do else in our restaurant? You can play chess, you can sing, uh, you can dance. Uh, well, actually it's like home. So please uh, come visit us anytime. Okay, maybe the chef will say a few words in English. <laughs> oh, or in French. Pourquoi pas? Yes. Pourquoi? French. We have a lot of uh, French speaking uh, viewers oh, as well. Okay, so you can present the restaurant in French. Bonjour, bienvenue au Sénat. Donc, euh, ici, nous préparons une cuisine faite maison à la minute, selon vos envies, vos désirs, et euh, préparée avec amour. Et, euh, un peu de magie. Et un peu, et un peu, un peu de, de magie. magie. Euh, ici, on vous accueille comme à la maison, un moment agréable, euh, convivial et chaleureux. N'hésitez pas. Et Alexandre a mangé ses toutes. C'est sa cantine. So, if you want to visit this magical place in the heart of Paris, you know Or the you address. Or you can win a dinner with Almira. <laughs> yeah, and play a chess game, right? You know the place, the magical place. Well, thank you for this wonderful uh, lunch that they had. What did you have actually, Alexandre, today? Tartare uh, de saumon avocat de et après macaré de canard, bien sûr, et poire. poire with uh, delicious beer with, with chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, that was wonderful. Well, not only lunch happened in this restaurant. We also made a few moves with Almira and played a friendly game before a delicious lunch. It was a close Sicilian and we are followed by two our colleagues, women grandmasters Tatiana Dorogush and Maria Lecon. Of course we are having fun, but the position is quite tricky. I play the aggressive b5, which happens to be the mistake since it weakens the c5 square. Luckily for me, Almira doesn't notice this idea with knight b3. She decides to play a4 and closes the center. In that case, I have a good position. I take the open file. She plays knight f1. And here I could have started attacking the pawns on c3 and d3 by playing queen a5 and bishop a6. But in fact, I play d4. And actually, at Almira, as Almira immediately points out, I weaken the square on e4, which can be used for white knights. And the idea to put my knight on b4 is not a very good idea, because it just covers the line, the b line that I can use for my rooks. h5 is also a little double h, h6 would have been more careful. But I'm playing carefully. I'm playing carelessly, actually, here in this game. Maybe because of uh, too much talking. While Almira is taking her time to think. And she starts improving her knight's positions. First, she exchanges the knight's square bishops. And then she's bringing her second knight closer to those weakened squares, e4, g5, that she wants to use for her knights. While I'm struggling with finding a plan, a queen c6 check, a check is not a checkmate, knight h to f3, knight f5, knight to e4, well, I have to play on the queen side, that's why I try to double my rooks on the b-file by playing a rook to b7. And again, I shouldn't have placed my knight on b4, without that it would have been easier for me to 
would get to B2, for example. And White would need to be more careful in guarding the second rank and the B5. But here, Almir is taking her time to think, she thinks, she thinks, and... And finally, she makes her move, Knight F6 check. But, luckily for me, because the position is very tricky, she offers a draw. And of course, I couldn't resist such an offer. I gladly agree on a draw, and we proceed with our friendly lunch. <laughs> so, See you soon, guys.